hello everyone in this video we will see how we can declare and define functions in JavaScript in four different ways so let's start with function declaration for this we will use function keyword and then we can write any name for the function so let's say scare here and then we can pass a parameter so hex here and then we can return x into x so to see the output on the console we can write console.log and then scare the name of the function and then we can say maybe 2 here so if I run it you can see the output 4 here so now let's rewrite this function using function expression so what we can do is actually what I want to do is we can do we can move the console log at the end because we will need it again and then we can comment this function and in the case of function expression we can do const and then we can define that constant scale and then we can use a anonymous function here and here we can say parameter x and then we can say return x into x similar that we did in above here so now what we can do is we can clear this and run it again you can see the output 4 here actually what we can do is we can change it so let's say 3 so I run it again you can see 9 here now similarly we can use arrow function expression so what we can do is we can comment it out and then we can go here and then we can say const scale and then here we can pass parameter like this and then we will use this operator and then we can use curly brackets and then we can use return x into x now if i run it again you can see the output 9 here all right so what else we can do is we can remove this brackets here if we are using only one parameter we need not write these brackets so what we can do is now we can use concise arrow function expression so what we can do is we can comment this code and then we can do cos square equal to x that is a parameter and then now after this arrow function operator we can do x into x so if we only want to write one statement so here we only are returning x into x so in that case we don't need to do that curly brackets here and we also don't need to write return here so now we can change it so let's say 4 and then I can clear it and maybe run again you can see the output here so these are the four different ways we can write functions in JavaScript thank you